I'm Lisa G, creator of YourTastyLife.com. Are you so over the dieting madness and sick of counting every morsel that hits your mouth? You just want to eat and enjoy food? Well, stay tuned because I will be sharing with you three tasty nuggets that will make or break your success. I see this all the time with women who are trying to release weight. And one thing they're missing is their mindset. They're stuck on a dieting mentality, and it's not about dieting and deprivation. It's not about restrictions. It's about creating new patterns and habits. So if you open your mind to understanding that we're really aiming for creating new habits and new patterns, things will flow from there. This leads into the second step, which is really about choosing. So instead of saying I have to avoid, or I'm on this diet, or I can't have this, can't, 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 is a very negative connotation to put into your life, but instead you are empowered when you're saying I choose health, I choose wellness, I choose to eat this way because I feel better. So in other words, choosing versus feeling like I have to do something really shifts the mindset. And a dieting mentality is, it's all or nothing, I gotta do it this way and do it perfect or forget it. When you're saying I'm choosing things, you're not feeling like you're missing out on anything because you're making that conscious choice to choose that food or choose that behavior. The last thing I wanna kinda of share with you, another nugget, is how do you respond best? What I mean by this is, Often I'll see women in my office and they will do 180 change. They change everything from top to bottom with their food plan and lifestyle. And that's kind of fleeting. It doesn't really last that long because it was too big of a change. Now some people do really well that way. They do well kind of cleaning the slate and doing everything top down. Some people do well by small methodical changes. So maybe looking at one or two habits at a time, doing those, nailing them, smashing them, and moving on to a couple more. So think about when you're going to embark on your next nutritional change, for example. Do you do well with a 180 change, or do you need small methodical changes? And let me give you two examples of what we're talking about today. So the first example is Sandy, and she was someone who was sick and tired of being sick and tired. She was the poster child for that statement. She was 35 years old, she had three children, she felt like crap every day, she was sick of going to the doctor only to get more medications, and she knew this wasn't a way she wanted to live. She wanted to make a change. And so what she did was she did the 180 change. She went from drinking several sodas and energy drinks a day to only drinking water. She went from a very high carbohydrate and sugar rich food plan to knocking it all out, no sweets, no bread. She also had a big change related to caffeine because she was doing all of that soda and they were caffeinated, she stopped having the soda. She remembered, she said, Lisa, I remember you saying eat more colors. So this was a gal who really wasn't drinking much of her fruit or vegetable at all. She started implementing the colors in her food plan. And she had really profound changes in her health and her weight loss. It was very dramatic. So far even, it was kind of funny, we laughed because she works at a sandwich shop. And she says, you know, I was eating, uh, snacking on chips, and we had soda all day long, and I was having soup for a snack, and junk food. She's like, I knew what I was doing wasn't right. So she started bringing in cut up vegetables. I know what you're thinking, like who would want to eat the vegetables? Well, everybody at the restaurant said the same thing. Really, you're bringing in broccoli and carrots and cauliflower, who wants that stuff? Well, you know how it is. If you cut it up and you have it readily available, people will eat it. So lo and behold, all of these kids at the restaurant were eating the veggies with her. She had them drinking water as well. So my point is this worked for her. My concern was, is it too much too fast that she's going to rebound off of that? So, you know, that's a discussion to have if that's something that really works for you. Some people feel so great and so good as Sandy does that there's no way they're going back. They're never turning the corner. They're just, yep, this is the way I'm gonna do it. Another example would be Susie. And Susie was a small methodical step person where instead of saying, 
What I can have, we took the philosophy of what are you gonna add in? So with your current food plan, what are you going to add in? Are you gonna add in more water? Are you gonna add in more vegetables? Are you going to have a cutoff time in the evening where you're gonna stop eating? What are the things you're gonna add in? And this is what this woman did. It was very successful because what she would do was focus on something for 30 days, nail it, smash it, get it down, and then the next month she added in another behavior change. And she did really, really well that at the end of the year, if I were to compare the two women on their overall goals and their overall success, they were both at a really great place. So with that being said, today's TMWTD, what should I do? You need to decide what to do. Are you a 180 person where you're going to make some drastic changes or are you going to do small methodical steps? And in doing so, get your mind right about it being a journey that there's a long road to go, generally speaking, but little by little by little, you're making your way down. Wellness is a spectrum and you're going to go little by little by little, but you will get there. So stay focused and you can reach your goal. Now that's a tasty bite you can sink your teeth into. 